Hello YouTube's Grossama, and here I have for you today is the SD Cross Silhouette Mazinger Z. One of the coolest looking kits, uh, pretty much in the SD line point blank period. I've built mm, just a little bit of a handful of SDs, and I must say, these two, and especially the Zetto, it's just super awesome. Just exquisite, love the articulation. Uh, does have a very unique inner frame, uh, much like I've mentioned uh, previously, and the articulation is gonna be pretty much exactly the same as uh, the great Mazinger. So I'm not gonna go over articulation at all. I'll probably just go more into the details and pretty much cover that and some other little points. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the review. Okay, and the first thing we're taking a look at is the Hover Piloter. Now, this little vehicle is actually the focal point of the entire suit because the pilot resides in here. So, this basically flies out from, you know, the facility it's uh, currently located at, and it goes into the uh, the head of the Mazinger Z, thus controlling it, and it looks beautiful. I love the, I just love the way it looks. It's a very unique little vehicle, and the only way you're going to make this thing pop out is by painting it in my opinion because it's going to come with a lot of stickers i'm just not a big fan of stickers so i'm definitely going to paint everything and i just think it's going to look way better if you put a little extra work into it so um this is something you could probably practice on and i know a lot of people is uh usually a little discouraged when it comes to painting but this is such small details i'm pretty sure a lot of you can manage and honestly just probably use some Gundam markers. Practice with that and then start working your way up to maybe hand painting, airbrushing, so on and so forth. But you are going to get a clear piece right there at the top, so that's pretty cool. And uh, if you want, maybe a little scratch build, a little pilot in there. But let's go ahead and move on to the main unit. So much like the SD Great Mazinger, this is going to come with a ton of stickers. So once again, paint it if you can. If not, I mean, you're really going to get some kind of mediocre stickers. A lot of them are going to bend around corners, and that's just usually my least favorite type of stickers. So try and bust out those paints and get to practicing. So like I mentioned, these two are going to have the same exact articulation. Uh, the Great Mazinger is going to be just slightly a bit taller, but it's only because of the head shape. It is going to be more pointy, so thus being a little bit taller. But I'm pretty sure that, you know, if you swap the heads or if you had them both have the same exact head, they would be the same exact size. But other than that, they are pretty much the same exact articulation and a lot of the same molding. But let's go and move on to more of the details for the Mazinger Z. So looking at the details, once again, this is a very high gloss kit. So fingerprints is definitely gonna be evident unless you, you know, clean up after yourself or you wear gloves in the building process. But yeah, it looks super, super glossy, thus making it stand out just a little bit more on your shelf. The accessories that it's gonna come with are fists and also the open hands because you have to have both of them shaking hands to create the double Mazingers. Now you're probably wondering, what attacks does the Mazinger Z actually have? Well, let me go ahead and show you. And the first attack is going to be the breast fire. So basically just shooting some beams out of his, uh, his two little chest pieces. Bam, that's pretty simple enough for me. And next is gonna be the rocket punch. So let me show you exactly how it's done. So the first part is removing the forearm with the hand and then plugging in this little effect piece. And then just plug the forearm that we took off previously right in there. And voila, and there you go. So you can obviously do this in the air, uh, much like I've shown you in the opening shot of this video. Uh, or if you want to do it on the ground, it connects very well. It looks super, super dynamic. Um, this actually makes me really want a Mega Man SD Cross Silhouette figure. Uh, just, just uh, like I wanted a lot, <laughs> uh, especially with like maybe different armors and all that. But nonetheless, uh, this thing is just super. It's just everything about it is super. That's that's the best word I can give it. Very super robot. Very awesome, dynamic. Love it. But we do have one more thing. And next we're gonna have is the Jet Scrander. So with this. It's just a parts former with two different pieces. Not really much of a part former, parts former, but we're gonna take the waist apart. And then you wanna plug this new little waist piece in right there, and then plug in the bottom waist right there. 
And then lastly, just plug the jet scrander right there into the back of the torso. Now, if you want, you can use this little connector and plug it right into the bottom and then plug the jet scrander right there. And now you can have a better aerial pose. And there it is, the Mazinger Z with the Jet Scrander having some nice little aerial poses and some nice little fun while it's at it. But let's go and we have to move on to the super, super as the chibi form. And there it is in the like super, super as the mode. Um, I just, I, I, I did like it for the Great Mazinger um, and I kind of still do like it for this. But it's just like you're spending so much money, like a little bit over like, what, 10, 12 dollars. Yeah, you might as well just put it in the cross silhouette form. It just it's gonna have better articulation. This thing, the joints are not gonna move because you completely removed the joints, and it's just not gonna look as pleasing in, in my eyes. Uh, the only thing that really does change outside of moving the uh, the joints out of the way, like taking them off, is going to be the eyes. You do replace the eyes with these more kind of wider uh, looking eyes. So before I wrap this up, I definitely want to start uh, kind of bringing in more of a rating system this year, uh, but I don't really know. Like I always thought of like maybe a gold star or you know maybe a number system or something that's a little bit more kind of, I don't know, keen to a very traditional style. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start asking Steve. Steve? Steve. What? Hey, 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 Steve. Uh, we just want to know crow. what are your thoughts on the SD Mazinger Z? Get that goddamn camera on my face. Okay, well then, uh, so uh, I guess it's a good kit. That's pretty much what he uh, was chopping up to. So, yeah, I like it. I love the Mazinger series. Haven't really watched much of any of the series, to be honest. Uh, I kind of just got more of the highlights, if anything. And I really want to you know, dive more into this actual uh, franchise. I just think it looks super awesome. And I love... I love Super Robot kind of like mecha, but I just, I don't know, it's kind of hard for me to just sit down and watch a full-fledged anime of something like this. But I definitely will try so I can be more well acquainted with the uh, source material if possible. But yeah, I love it, love both of them to be honest. And I hope that Bandai continues to push out these kits, whether in you know high grade form, SD form, Maybe even massive great form one of these days. But other than that, guys, definitely thank you for watching. Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe, all the good jazz. And if you do like these type of videos, let me know in the comments below exactly what you like and what you want to see improve. But that's it for me, guys. So I'll be seeing y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.